Hello everyone, this is Ada Golami from Agrimat Soft Research Lab and in today's video, I'm going to teach you about paired t-test in Excel. So paired t-test is used when you have just one population and then you get two samples from that population. So you, you do something on that population and then get a sample after the process and before the process, okay? So let's say you have a classroom, then you get a specific teacher. You want to see if the teacher is doing well, you know, then you get a sample before entering that teacher and you get the second sample after uh, the teaching of that teacher. So then you compare these two samples to see how um, does she work. Okay. So. In here, you can see I have two samples listed in here. I should tell you that these data are created randomly using rand between. Let's say these are the grades of the students. Let's say exams is taken out of 25. Let's say so. I want to test to see whether that teacher is doing well or not. So I go to data tab. I click on data analysis and then I go down. You can see t-test paired two sample for means. Now I want to see if the means are significantly different. So we use t-test to see if the means are significantly dif different. I select the this option, I click OK, and then this window opens up. Variable one range. So I click on that option, I select my variable one, then I again select that, I click in here again, sample number two, and it's selected, hypothesized mean difference. This is the no hypothesis for you. So you want to see if the difference is, let's say, I don't know. The null hypothesis for me is that the means are equal. So I want to put zero to define the null hypothesis as being the means equal. Okay. Then I check the labels. In here, if you have another null hypothesis, for example, you want to see, you want to hypothesize that the difference of these two populations is let's say five, I don't know, five in the memes. That's when you have a sense of your population. You have, you know, uh, you, mm, you know, you have something in your mind. I do not have that. I, I just want to know if they are significantly different or not. So that's a two-tailed test. My null hypothesis is that the memes are not different. And the alternative one is that they are different. Okay. So then I check the labels and alpha in here is 5%, which is okay. And I want the output range to start from here. Click OK. And then the output table is created. So the mean is the simple average of these two samples. That said, you know, in here I can have the auto sum or I can have the auto average so that's the simple average of these two samples variance also variance for sample that's the the result number of observations and Pearson correlation you can see these do not have a very good correlation so that's okay they are created randomly and then hypothesized mean difference is zero my no hypothesis is that they are not different the means are not different degree of freedom t statistic so the t statistic in here is 0.56 we should compare that to t critical for two tail Okay, so you can see the T critical in here is 2.06. So I go for draw 
I want to draw something for you in here. We have the figure something like this. So this is the zero. T critical in here is two point I'm sorry two point zero six and minus two point zero six. And then the T statistic falls somewhere here. It's zero point zero point five so we know that if then the t statistic falls in this area we accept the null hypothesis if it drops in here we reject the null hypothesis so it's fallen in here so we accept the null hypothesis that the means are not significantly different so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next videos and bye